Have you been getting the dreaded black screen on your LG G3 smartphone that constantly comes and goes? In this video, we're going to show you how to install additional heat sinks on your LG G3 to keep the processor running cooler and keeping your phone from overheating and causing the LCD screen to fade and black out. Stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. This is Human from CellularDoctor.com. Welcome to our Part 3 LG G3 Repair Video Series. In this video, we're going to show you how to perform a simple modification that will allow your phone to run cooler and keep it from getting the dreaded black screen. If you want to know the exact reason why the LG G3 gets the black screen, be sure to watch our previous video, LG G3 Repair Video Part 2, which I have linked here. The main problem is this, this top processor getting overheated. So really, this is our main concern. Now, when putting this copper heat sink on there, you need to be very careful not to put it anywhere where it could short out anything. So it's very important that you're careful and when you cut it, if you end up with really fine pieces of it and it ends up in the board, you will short out your motherboard and possibly damage it beyond repair or then we'll have to send it out to get it repaired. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and start putting this on. What we've devised is we've pre-cut a piece right here. And the way I like to line it up is right across the bottom here. I don't really like it to overlap anything because that's when short becomes possible. So I start right next to this opening. I don't want to be on the opening because there's open capacitors and IC chips and so on and so forth. So you don't want to be in there at all. You want to be right next to it. And you want to line up the bottom right here straight across. So from here and line up the bottom here and line up the bottom here and paste it. Now this right here seems to be okay. There's really nothing in there that could cause it to short. So even if you overlap a little bit, you're fine. So it's pretty simple. You open up the double-sided tape. You line it up as best as you can. And you place it, making sure that it is nicely on there. It is very important that the middle right here is making, is basically touching the, the processor chip. So make sure that that's nicely touching because the whole point is by this tape sitting on top of the processor, it pulls the heat away from it and spreads it. As you can see, there's similar type of uh, heat sink on top of this. And the whole purpose of this is actually to be a heat sink. But obviously, it's not doing the job that it's supposed to. So that's why we're adding additional. Now, that is as far as we need to go for this side. If you want to get crazy, you can put little pieces around here or here or here, but it's really, I feel that this is plenty. Now, one thing that I do is on the other side, I've noticed that um, this chip underneath here gets pretty heated up. So this thing, this is the MMC chip, the memory. So if you look at this, I'm going to put my finger on it and flip it over it's right under the other chip they're basically one on one side and one on the other now remember this is a double processor chip so it's got a chip underneath and a chip on top this is a single one but the point is these cost so much heat these three chips together that it's amazing that they really survive so what i would like to do is 
put a heat sink on here and what I do is usually double it up with two pieces because the the smaller width heat sink that I have seems to be a little bit thinner than the previous one that I used. So I put one right here and another one on top of that. What that does is it takes the heat from this, spreads it through these, hits it to the to the plate, and then I put this one right here on top of the plate. So again, the whole purpose is just to pull heat away from the board and from the IC chips and put them elsewhere where it won't hurt anything. So I'm going to show you how we do this. Now here, it's even more important that you're very careful and you don't overlap because as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff around this IC chip. Do not let anything overlap whatsoever. There's all kinds of stuff around here that can cause a short very easily. And you may not even be able to see some of the stuff with your plain eye, but under the microscope, there is lots of stuff that can cause damage. I actually installed one of these, one of my first uh, attempts using a whole bunch of different things. And um, I couldn't even tell it was sitting over a little bit. And as soon as I turned it on, I, I heard this pop. And it, it smelled nasty and um took it apart and and one of the capacitors had had completely fried so i definitely recommend that you guys you know don't even let it overlap at all because it is not a good idea and you try to fix one thing and you end up shorting out your board and who knows causing what havoc now, luckily, my good techs, highly trained here, were able to replace whatever fried, and it wasn't too big of a deal. But you never know it's going to fry, and you just, you just don't want to deal with that. Anyway, here is the last piece. Uh, tape and I like to put this right here and these are definitely something you don't want to be touching when you put this stuff down make sure that it is on there because you don't want it to get loose later and move and then heat something so that is our video showing you how to put a heat sink on your device. These copper tapes are pretty expensive, the good ones. And for most people, it's not going to be worth buying a whole huge roll and paying, you know, 30 to $50, which is what they cost. But maybe we'll come up with a little tiny package and sell pre-cut ones for certain phones or just you know little small piece that we can sell and basically just for next to nothing and and just charge shipping or whatever i'll put some links for this video on where to buy the stuff if we're going to end up carrying it i'll put it on the website and and uh let you guys know that as well Anyway, this is the LG G3 heatsink. I hope you guys have a pleasant day, and I hope that this really helps you keep your device working and uh, last as long as you possibly can. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you could see more videos similar to this that will help you keep your devices up to date and tell you about 
problem solutions, things to look out for, and that sort of thing. Have a wonderful day, guys.